In the middle of the Nevada desert, a local bar caters to its patrons just like any other night. What they thought would be a few hours of drinks and conversation will soon turn into the survival of the fittest. Somewhere in the desert, a car crashes into a wooden pole and flips over. A person crawls out from underneath the wreckage. Several miles away, Bozo enters the local bar where he passes Harley Mom, sitting by the door, and pushes his brother, Hot Wheels, away from the jukebox. A few seconds later, Harley Mom goes to the restroom and passes Coach, a motivational speaker, talking on the payphone. Meanwhile, Bozo surprises Grandma, who's fallen asleep on the bar. Bozo proceeds to the pool table where Jason's been waiting for him. In the restroom, Harley Mom picks her gun off the floor and smokes on the toilet. At the bar, Beer Guy tells bartender about how he used to be a model. Outside, someone or something is running toward the bar. Back in the bar, Tuffy, a waitress, walks by Vet, a soldier on leave. In the bar basement, Beer Guy opens a window and smokes but Boss Man, the bar owner, catches him. Back in the bar, Honey Pie, another waitress, has a flirty conversation with Coach and they plan to hang out after her shift. Meanwhile, Tuffy sees Boss Man walk up the stairs and give her a look, so she finishes her drink and follows him. Upstairs, Tuffy places headphones over her son's or Cody's ears before entering Boss Man's bedroom. Back at the bar, Honey Pie sees a ring fall out of Coach's wallet and angrily pushes him away. Upstairs, Bossman is copulating with a disinterested Tuffy. At the pool table, Bozo re-racks then asks if anybody wants to play. When nobody takes his offer, he exclaims that he just wants some action. Suddenly, Hero bursts through the doors all bloodied up and carrying a shotgun. He tells them to do as he says if they want to survive. Bartender and Harley Mom point their weapons at Hero, and he takes a grotesque monster's head and lays it on a table. He says the creatures are fast, hungry, and there's four of them. They have sharp claws and teeth and are headed their way. He stands in front of a window, about to end his speech, when a creature grabs him and decapitates him. Hero's body drops back into the bar and blood sprays all over Honey Pie, who screams in fear. When Hero's shotgun hits the floor, it fires into the ceiling and hits Bossman's foot. A few seconds later, Heroin enters the bar and picks up Hero's shotgun. She asks them where her husband is but she hears a growling noise from outside and wedges the shotgun between the door handles. She's thrown back several feet when the monster hits the doors. Upstairs, Tuffy tells Cody to stay inside the closet and hide. In the bar, Heroin sees Hero's body on the floor and crawls towards it. They see a creature outside a window and Heroin asks Vet to hold a table over the window. The monster pushes on the table and knocks Heroin down. It reaches through the window and punches a hole through Vet's chest, slaying him. Suddenly, a smaller creature breaks through a window and scutters around the room. Harley Mom shoots at it but hits the payphone instead. The creature zips past her leg, slicing it off and screams as she falls on her back. She sits back up and ties a bandana on her stump. A few seconds pass with no sign of the creature, so Jason comes out of hiding. The creature swipes across his face and skins it. He runs around screaming and gets hit by ricocheting bullets from bartender's gun. After a brief period of silence, they spot the creature copulating with a mounted deer head. Bartender fires his gun, startling the creature and it falls into a freezer which they close and lock. Bartender yells for everyone to close the shutters. One of the creatures grabs Hero's body through the window as Heroin holds onto him. She loses her grip but manages to slide his wedding ring off his finger. After all the windows are boarded up, Bossman peeks through the hole on the ceiling and asks Bartender if it's safe to go down. Later, Tuffy helps Bossman down the stairs and he asks who shot him. They tell him it was Hero and Heroin tells him her husband is dead. They show him the monster head and Heroin says she doesn't know what they are and they were attacked out of nowhere. She asks if everyone is downstairs and Tuffy remembers Cody so she runs upstairs. Upstairs, Tuffy panics when Cody isn't in the closet, but he appears behind a chair and Tuffy hugs him. She promises she'll never let him go again. Suddenly, a monster crashes through the window, grabs Cody, and throws Tuffy to the corner. The monster swallows Cody whole and Tuffy screams when she sees Cody's foot in the creature's mouth. The monster sprays green liquid from its mouth, covering Beer Guy head to toe. The monster retreats and Tuffy cries out in anguish as she runs to the window. Heroin stops her and leads her back down the stairs before locking the bedroom door. In the bar, Tuffy sits down by the bar and cries into her arms. They have no working telephones and cell phones don't get reception. Then, Bossman mentions his shortwave radio upstairs. In the kitchen, Beer Guy washes off the slime and maggots from his hair, but the water pressure is weak. He plans on leaving for the hospital through the front door, but Heroin tells him to calm down. He pushes Heroin out of the way, but she subdues him. Heroin says she also wants to go out there and save her daughter, but has the common sense to stay inside to survive. Behind the bar, Honey Pie washes the blood off her body while Hot Wheels and Bozo ogle her. At the bar, Heroin takes a metal bar and replaces the shotgun wedged between the door handles with it. Bozo kneels over Jason's body, when suddenly, Jason convulses, making Bozo jump back in fright. 
Bossman explains it's a death rattle and says they should wrap the bodies up in tablecloths and put them in the basement. While the survivors board up the bar and place the bodies in the basement, Honey Pie secretly takes Harley Mom's gun. In the bar, the monster thrashes inside the freezer, so Bossman shoots the freezer and the creature squeals. When the noises stop, Bossman approaches the freezer, but then a claw pops out and grabs his leg. Tuffy takes Bartender's gun and inserts the muzzle in the hole and fires, slaying the monster. After a few minutes, Coach suggests scaring away the monsters with the carcass. He pokes the carcass with a pool cue and sticks it out the window. One monster grabs it and proceeds to eat it. The survivors see the other monsters and conclude that it's a family unit and the small one was the baby. A few seconds later, the survivors are disgusted to witness the two largest monsters copulating on top of a car. Moments later, one monster gives birth to a new baby. Heroin recounts that she and her husband dropped their daughter, Charlie, off at her mother's house. On the drive back, they ran over one of the monsters and crashed their car. She was thrown out of the car, Hero picked the head up off the side of the road, and that was when the monsters came. Then, Coach calls it roadkill revenge. Moments later, Beer Guy is getting worse and in pain. He sees a bulge move underneath his skin but doesn't tell the others. He peeks through the window and a monster pokes a finger through and pulls out one of his eyeballs. On the other side of the room, a monster arm grabs Coach's leg through a vent but he escapes it when the monster only tears away his pants. Tuffy directs Coach to her bag for sweatpants he can wear. Later that night, Beer Guy is unconscious on the pool table with a piece of cloth covering his eye wound. At the bar, the survivors do an inventory of the ammo they have left, and Bossman says he might have more in the basement. Bossman places the bullets on the bar countertop as he shows them his machete. Honey Pie sneakily takes one but doesn't know how to load it inside the magazine. Afterward, Bossman says the radio is in his closet upstairs. Heroin says she'll go down to the basement for supplies and tells Bozo to go upstairs for the radio. Then, Bozo orders Bartender and Coach to come with him. Heroin tosses the keys to Bartender and tells Bozo he'll be locked inside the room not to risk losing the keys. So, Tuffy volunteers to accompany Heroin to the basement. Upstairs, Bartender peeks through the keyhole to make sure the coast is clear before unlocking the door. Coach pushes Bozo into the bedroom and locks him inside. Bozo opens the closet door and walks into a dark hallway. He turns the light on and is spooked by a bat. In the basement, while Tuffy rummages through boxes, Heroin opens her locket with her daughter's picture. In the closet, Bozo switches the radio on and calls for help. But then the radio falls off the table when the monsters pull the wires from outside. Bozo runs back to the door and tells Bartender to open it. The monster is breaking through the wall and coming for him. Bartender tries to unlock the door, but the key breaks off. Heroin runs upstairs when she hears the commotion and rips Bartender's earring off to pick the lock. She opens the door just in time to let Bozo out and slam it shut on the monster's member. She grabs the machete and hacks off the appendage, causing it to flop down the stairs. The appendage flops on the bar floor, then Bozo stomps it with his foot. A little later, Bozo tells them the monster easily clawed through the wall. Bossman thinks they won't be able to get into the bar unless they have tools. All of a sudden, the monsters bash the windows using bones, and Bartender uses the bottom of his shotgun to hit the monsters, while Heroin shoots through the holes. One of the monsters squeals, and the survivors hear them retreating. While the survivors discuss an escape plan, Beer Guy regains consciousness but looks infected, with dark veins visible on his face and neck. The group finally decides to cause a diversion on one side of the bar to distract the monsters, while two people sneak out through the basement to get Bossman's truck. Heroin asks Hot Wheels what he had in mind for a distraction, and he says they need to give the monsters something to eat. Minutes later, they take Harley Mom's body and strap a homemade explosive on it. Bozo and Bossman are tasked to drop the body from the hole in the wall upstairs, while Coach and Heroin get the truck. Heroin hands Tuffy a note and says that she'll want it back. Meanwhile, Honey Pie checks Beer Guy's eye wound and sees it full of maggots. She doesn't give him a straight answer when he asks her if he's getting better, and runs to the sink to throw up. In the basement, Heroin pushes out the window screen. In the bar, Bozo finds a bear trap hanging on the wall. The others prop up a ladder to roll kegs and barrels on. Honey Pie hears Heroin tap on the basement ceiling, signaling Bozo and Bossman to bring the body upstairs. When Bossman and Bozo are upstairs, Bossman stomps on the floor to alert Honey Pie, who responds. The men drag the body through the closet and are about to toss it when Harley Mom opens her eyes and screams. She pleads for help, but Bossman looks at Bozo and tells him she's not alive and stomps his foot. Honey Pie relays the a message to Heroin and Coach. Upstairs, Bozo wants to help Harley Mom, but Bossman stops him. Suddenly, the baby monster pops in and pulls Harley Mom down to the ground. The cord is being dragged away, but Bozo manages to grab it and tries to plug it in the socket. Outside, Harley Mom is strapped to a plank and the baby monster copulates with her mouth. 
While the monster is near Harley Mom, Bozo plugs the cord into the socket and the explosive goes up in a fireball. The power surge causes the electricity in the entire building to go out. In the basement, Coach and Heroin sneak out the window. Coach runs to the truck while Heroin draws the monsters towards her. Upstairs, Bossman makes Bozo promise not to tell anyone about what happened. He threatens Bozo at gunpoint and the two men fight. In the bar, Tuffy and Bartender hear Heroin from the back door so they run to open it. Heroin thinks Coach made it to the truck, but she couldn't make it and ran back. Behind them, Beer Guy threatens to shoot them if they open the door. Upstairs, Bozo slams his fist on Bossman's wounded foot and he yelps in pain. At the door, Heroin begs them to let her in, but Beer Guy is persistent. Tuffy grabs the shotgun and headbutts him before slamming him to the ground. Upstairs, Bozo holds Bossman down and points the gun at him. They hear rustling from the hole in the wall and Bozo shoots, thinking it's a monster. Heroin stumbles in, fatally wounded by Bozo's gunshot. He tries to save her, but the monsters drag her to the ground and devour her. Bozo picks up Heroin's necklace as he and Bossman make their way downstairs. After, Bossman tells Bozo they now both have secrets and gives him a smile. In the bar, Bozo and Bossman tell the others the monsters got heroin, and Bozo hands Tuffy the locket. Grandma grabs a bottle and hides in the walk-in freezer. After a couple of minutes, Tuffy opens heroin's note where she wrote her daughter's name and mother's address. Tuffy tells the hopeless survivors that she, out of everyone in the room, deserves to have a meltdown right now, but more important things have to be done. Bossman, who's lying on the floor, chooses to stay in the bar and wait for help. All of a sudden, a monster arm bursts through Bossman's chest. He grabs Hot Wheels' wheelchair, causing the young man to fall on the floor as the monster pulls Bossman to the basement. Bozo lifts his brother up to the counter and he and Bartender move the jukebox over the hole on the floor. After a few seconds, they hear Coach's voice from a distance gradually getting closer. Tuffy peeks between the doors and sees the monsters use Coach as a battering ram. While the monsters break the door down, Bartender hands Beer Guy a Molotov cocktail and Bozo readies the bear trap. When the doors burst open, they roll down kegs and a barrel to knock the monsters backwards. Tuffy shoots until they retreat. Then she closes the doors and inserts a new metal tube between the door handles as Bozo flips the pool table to barricade the door. They run to the window and watch Honey Pie emerge from the barrel and get in Beer Guy's truck. They cheer as she starts the truck and drives toward them, but instead of rescuing them, she turns the truck around and leaves. A few seconds later, the monster destroys an entire wall and the survivors fly all over the room. The monster enters and removes its skull mask and fur cover to reveal a grotesque face, a mouth filled with razor-sharp teeth, and a muscular humanoid body. The monster roars and approaches Tuffy, but Bozo distracts it by hitting it with a bottle. Hot Wheels aims a gun at the monster, but the monster in the basement pushes the jukebox over, causing it to fall on his legs, pinning him down. At the bar, the monster jumps on the counter, but Bartender swings his gun at it, and the monster falls to the floor. Meanwhile, Beer Guy holds the Molotov cocktail in one hand and a lighter in another while walking toward the monster. The third monster reaches down through the hole in the ceiling and tries to grab Beer Guy. Tuffy uses a DIY spear to attack the monster in the ceiling. On the floor, Hot Wheels takes Bossman's gun and shoots the monster coming up from the basement, but he runs out of bullets. He takes the bear trap and holds it against his body and the monster's head gets caught in the trap and it drops back down to the basement. In the bar, Beer Guy comes face to face with the monster who smashes his head like a watermelon. Bozo and Bartender pin the monster down with a table and Tuffy points the shotgun at it. She pulls the trigger but the gun is empty, so she turns the shotgun around and bashes the monster's head repeatedly until its teeth fall out. Bartender's throat gets clawed by the thrashing monster and he perishes. Tuffy and the monster scream in each other's faces before she shoves her entire arm down its throat, defeating it. Later, they see the sunrise and Bozo rushes to unpin his brother from underneath the jukebox and carries him to his car. Tuffy tells Bozo that they should get Heroin's daughter, and Bozo gives her a little nod. They get in the car and drive down the highway. Back in the bar, Grandma opens the walk-in freezer thinking the coast is clear, but a monster attacks her by surprise. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.